Hi guys, I'm Yanis Papadopoulos and you're watching The Gear Masters. Today we're gonna have a look at the gear I use uh, for the tour with the Voice of Creed Scott Stab. We're gonna start with the guitars. So right here uh, are the babies. So this is the main one that I use. Um, this is the Faded Well Blue. It's uh, a PRS Custom 24. Actually I play only PRS guitars. Uh, we have four of uh, the Custom 24s out. Uh, this is a mahogany body, a maple top, uh, maple back, rosewood fretboard. Uh, we have the bird inlays and we have uh, the locking tuners here. Um, yeah, I love this one. Usually we switch the main guitars from time to time so that we are not bored. <laughs> and we change the colors. So the main guitar, it's, for example in this case, this one is used for most of the songs. Uh, for example, uh, this one is in uh, drop C sharp, so I use it for my own prison, higher, and all these kinds of hits. Um, so the pickups are the stock pickups. We have the 8515, um, and mainly the strings that I use for these are tens. Uh, always the Adarius. Uh, we thank the guys over there. So more or less of the same kind, we have this baby over here, which is uh, a charcoal burst one. Uh, this one is tuned in uh, open C, uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, the same roots are used here, uh, except for the back, uh, which is also mahogany. And I've changed the pickups here, and these are the Dragon 2 pickups uh, from PRS again. And yeah, this one is used, for example, for Are You Ready? We're rocking with this one. Um, so, moving on to the next stuff. This is the Antique White Baby. Uh, the goods are the same. Again, this is a Custom 24. Uh, these are the 8515 pickups. And I love this one. <laughs> Perhaps the favorite one out of all. So usually I'm not the kind of guy to mess, uh, that I mess with the tone. So I usually just roll back the volume knob and that's it. Depending on uh, which songs we play, for example, this used to be the main guitar uh, for quite some time before we switched to the faded blue. Um, so right now, this is uh, in standard tuning. We use tens for this one again. And again, the Adario strings. I use this one for Jesus Was a Rockstar of the specific set list that we do. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Usually it's all the way up and that's it, you know. I mainly mess with uh, the pickups. So, uh, for example, in, I, when I play rhythm, I'm down here. When I play lead, I switch usually to the fast one, to the neck pickup for the fast passages. And usually for the cleans, I go for uh, the second selection here. Um, yeah, but more or less that's it. Uh, you may also notice this beautiful thing over here. Uh, these are the Groove Gear fret wraps. Um, this was the wild edition that they did a while ago. I think they're also out as we currently talk about. Um, these, are, I usually use them um, when I record just for safety in order not to have to record again and again the same thing. Um, during the show, not so much, uh, but they serve their purpose. <laughs> they make the guitar look good, you know, apart from uh, resonating better, of course. Uh, yeah, check out these guys, Groove Gear, very good company. These are uh, the custom 24s that we have out here. And then we have um, this one, which is an S2 standard. Um, I think this is the Seafoam Green model. Again, we have uh, mahogany body, rosewood neck, uh, 8515S pickups. Um, what is cool about these is the fact that you have a three-way selector, which I prefer to be honest. And also you have a push-pull uh, in the tone, which helps for getting more strat sounds out of this baby. Um, yeah, again, PRS strictly and only, forever. Then we have this baby over here. This is new, this looks Egyptian. So this is the Egyptian gold color. Uh, this is an S2 Custom 24. Again, we have uh, the bird inlays. These are the 85 uh, 15S pickups. Again, we have a three-way selector and a push-pull here. Uh, mahogany body, rosewood fretboard. Uh, all 
the guitar so far have uh, 25 radius um, and yeah this one um, is used for my sacrifice and for faceless man and it's in drop C sharp yes drop C sharp um, so for the ones that are usually in drop C sharp or drop D or whatever we are using mainly uh, tens um, and if we go below that for example for the drop C we're using 11s and for the last baby that we have over here which is the baritone this is an SC uh, 277 baritone uh, we're using 13s for this one uh, always the Adario strings and these are again I believe again the 8515S I might be wrong for this one but uh, the woods are definitely uh, mahogany body uh, rosewood fretboard this is 27.7 uh, radius and it has 22 frets again we have the bird inlays and that's about it more or less so out of these this is the one that I use um, this is a Taylor 414 uh, we have we have added recently an acoustic part to the set, so uh, this one is in um, standard tuning. Actually, no, it's uh, half step down. This one is in tuned in half step down. Uh, we're using 12s or 11s, I, I don't remember for this one. Uh, always the Adario. And yeah, we're playing What's His Life for and Don't Stop Dancing. Beautiful, beautiful guitar. All right, so if we head over here, uh, we have the rest of the setup. So this is the pedal board uh, that I have currently on the road. Um, it looks strange, it's not <laughs> as complicated as it seems. So what is happening here, um, this is uh, the Audio Technica wireless system. Uh, I believe it's called um, ATW1501. Uh, what's cool about this one, Actually, I have all the guitars hooked uh, in this one, so what I do is I just mute the signal when it's time to change. I have the wireless on me, and every time I just plug a new guitar. Uh, this one is cool because usually the wireless systems uh, that are out there, it, you have a separate frequency for each guitar, which sometimes can be a little bit tricky because they interfere with each other or with different frequencies that are uh, in different places that we might play. So this one is very clean actually. Um, I gotta say that for many years I was against the wireless systems but this one doesn't suck tone, it's actually preserving it. Uh, so it does a very very good job. Uh, so this is uh, the wireless. So from my guitar I go here and then the chain is pretty straightforward. Um, this is an Enable uh, volume pedal into the Dunlop uh, 535Q uh, wah. I love this wah. And then we go into the controller. So this is the GSC4 uh, by a company uh, called G-Lab. Uh, what is cool about this baby is that uh, first of all, it's a switcher, so I can switch the channels of my amp uh, using just one button over here. It's also a MIDI controller and it's also a looper. So, for example, um, for the switching, I think it's pretty straightforward. You have two switching jacks here, they go in the back of the amp and you change the respective channels easily. Uh, regarding the loop, I have, for example, uh, this this part of the pedal board is in front of my amp, let's say. So this is the Moore Green Mile, that's uh, a Tube Screamer-like pedal. Um, so, and this is a, the regular Tube Screamer, this is the TS9 uh, by Ibanez. So I use this one for uh, the rhythm channel and this one for the lead. Uh, although they should sound um, similar, let's say, I would say that uh, the Green Mile has uh, it's a bit more aggressive, so I use it for the rhythms. I need them to be aggressive and tight. While I find the Tube Screamer, the TS9, a little bit more uh, sweet and round, so I use it mainly for the leads. And that's for in front of the amp, what is happening here. So I have hooked these um, inside the loop sections. So I have programmed, I don't like pushing many buttons when I play, I mainly mind 
what I play. So I usually program everything so with one button, let's say, I know that this loop is gonna be on or that loop is gonna be on with a specific channel of the amp and everything works uh, fine. Just one button, everything is set, all the effects are there, everything. This is um, a strobe tuner and uh, very precise. I, I love these tuners. I uh, use them for studio, live, everywhere. Uh, I don't think it gets more precise than this actually. And we go to the, to the top row. Here we have the effects that I use. All, all these go in the effects loop of my amp. So we have uh, all the effects are strictly Strymons. I'm oh, using okay. the Mobius for all the modulation effects, the Strymon timeline for the delays, and the Strymon Big Sky for the reverbs. Uh, the cool thing regarding these is that they're uh, MIDI. So I have hooked a MIDI out here. So again, when I press number two, for example, they all change at the same time. I have the presets ready and it's done. So with one button, for example, my own prison settings here, I know that I am on the clean channel over there and both loops are off. If I go to my rhythm, I know that this loop is on, this is working now, and all these are, are the rhythm setting, which is very cool. You know, it's a very cool uh, unit over here. Uh, what you can see, and if you take a look here, so this is how I power the whole thing. Uh, this is from a company called Syox. Uh, it's the Eventide 2 and powers up everything. Um, not many power units can do that uh, for a pedal board and also I'm, I think you might notice apart from this one which sucks too much power we have all the Strymons which are di digital pedals and usually digital pedals suck so much power that it's difficult to handle but this baby over here does a great job and the cool feature about it too is that it has a switch that controls the amount of current go that's going in. So if you play in uh, the US or overseas, you can just switch the power and everything is ready. You don't have to do anything else, uh, which is fantastic actually. Uh, I also have to say that the cables are strictly Spectroflex. Um, I'm using, so for example, this one is for the acoustic. Um, yeah, it, this is the Fatroflex model, I, I love this one. And also, all these are Spectraflexes. All that you see here, Spectraflex, Spectraflex, everything. Apart from the MIDI and the switching jacks, which I don't really care, uh, all the signal cables are strictly Spectraflex. I've been working with these guys for many years. Check them out, they're great. So I'm a huge uh, Mesa Boogie guy. I've been using Mesa Boogie amps for so many years. Love them, not switching anything. So this is uh, the tri-axis, this is where all my tones come from. Uh, this is MIDI controllable, so once again, I press number one, it goes number one, I press number two, it goes to number two. So this is the preamp, and mainly I'm using for my rhythms um, the rectifier, uh, the lead two uh, red, and for all my solos I'm switching to uh, the lead two green, and for all the cleans I'm uh, switching to um, the green, the, the rhythm green. So, uh, we have uh, here uh, the 250, um, which is equipped with uh, 6L6 at the moment. Um, and yeah, that serves as a power amp. We have uh, a Furman uh, to keep everything safe and just to have uh, the light module in case you need it. Uh, this is a TC Electronic G-Force which serves as a backup just in case anything fails down the road. You never know what can happen. And this is a dual rectifier which again is uh, used as a backup down the road. And this is a Behringer uh, FCB 1010 again as a backup in case anything fails. Just to be safe. Um, regarding the picks, um, I'm using this is my signature model from uh, Intune Guitar Picks. It's a US-based company. Uh, we have this out for quite some time now. It's also available uh, on our merch table. Uh, these are one, this is the classic Just Reshape and these are 1.5 in thickness. Um, they have a very nice touch. They don't have anything pumping out of the pick. So it's good for the hand. I like how it feels. 
uh, when shredding. So more or less, that's uh, what is happening down the road. Uh, thank you for checking this out, guys. Thank you uh, for supporting me and my work. Uh, make sure to check out uh, my social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, also my YouTube channel, my per personal page, www.stavadopoulos.gr. Uh, also, we're on the road, we're touring with Scott Stapp. We're giving great shows, we're rocking out. Make sure to check the dates uh, at scottstapp.com. Once again, thank you for all the love and your support, and see you soon. Rock on.